This video is one of my video series to welcome the latest TLVN Super Silhouette Skyline. One is about Super Silhouette history and why it's exciting. The new TLVN Super Silhouette review and why Tomy Tech released four models. BMW M1 review and history. The older TLVN Super Silhouette review. The Sylvia Super Silhouette review and history. Sylvia Turbo. Japanese Super Silhouette Race was held in Japan from 1979 to 1984 based on the Group 5 racing regulations that originated in Europe. FIA's Group 1 to 9 regulations are very complex to explain but to put it simply, if a production car like this Skyline or Sylvia doesn't modify its bonnet, also their roof, rails panel, and doors, or kept the silhouette intact. They can modify the rest parts like rear wing, wide wheels, or crazy body kit, and engine, to compete on Group 5 racing like Super Silhouette Championship. This series became very popular and full of exciting cars. There was a super silhouette version of the Mazda Savannah, Toyota Celica, Nissan Violet, and other cars. But when the Nissan Super Silhouette Trio is joining, it's getting more popular. After Yanagida won the 1980 season with Nissan Violet, Nissan drivers, and cars not performing too well for the 1981 season. Nissan then released their new turbo lineups. The Sylvia Turbo was released first, then the Bluebird Turbo, and the Skyline Turbo. People called them Nissan Turbo Gundan and won many races until the Super Silhouette series ended. More details about this car would be in my review video. People mostly knew that Nissan won the 1980 and 1983 seasons. But this European Group 5 car is the hardest opponent for Nissan, its drivers Uchida and Nagasaka won the 1981 and 1982 seasons. The car was built from the scratch using tubular pipes monocoque chassis by Nova Engineering, but with the original body from Nissan's popular production cars that were modified with a wide boxy body kit by Mooncraft Design. This is why I dislike Liberty Walk's Super Silhouette Body Kit concept because it's unclear that is it just a fan's tribute, or unlicensed commercialization of Mooncraft's famous body kit. Also, it's a weird idea to use a dragging body kit for the drift competition anyway. All Nissan Turbo Army are using LZ20B, a powerful engine used by the African Safari Rally Champion four times in a row, Nissan Violet PA10. But it was upgraded and faster than Formula One cars at that time. Pretty crazy. This is an era when some Nissan divisions merged and started Nismo, and when two legendary drivers Kazuyoshi Hashino and Masahiro Hasumi build the foundation of Team Impel Calsonic, still in Nichira or Nihon Radiator name back then, and Hasami Motorsport. When the Group 5 or Super Silhouette category ended, Nissan built the Skyline Turbo C for Group C racing, and later evolved into Nissan RCP cars. That's why we have three different cars, Skyline Super Silhouette based on early R30, or the 1982 versions, Skyline Super Silhouette based on Tech Armin, Iron Mask, R30, or the 1983 and 1984 versions, and Skyline Turbo C for Group C racing. Please leave comment, press like and subscribe to get more information, history and detailed review about this Super Silhouette models from Tomica Limited Vintage Neo.